I'm just testing out this clack valve because yesterday it was leaking so I've got it running back on gas because it's much easier whoops but actually with the coal blast nozzle it's easy to blow out this this gas fire so I have to, get, have to have the gas turn right up. No blower. Yeah, this side is spurting out on full bypass. On full bypass, you're just spurting out. So it means I have to pump all the time, and it's not always convenient. This pump, when pumping, loads up the engine more because there's a restriction in here. There's a restriction in here. That's why it's, it loads up the engine more than the other side does. It's like an emergency pump. There we go. Put the other side on. This is my this is my go-to pump on this, on this side. Pump quite a bit of water. So it's really pleasing. I I will just descale the O-ring a bit. Tied it up the seat. These gas cylinders are great. It's a full one. It's really cold now. Raincocks. It's quite a labyrinth through here. Water feed, pump ram, pump here to boiler or up into the tank for bypass when you, when you don't want to pump. I find one pump can make more water than I require. When I was building the local I didn't know I didn't know how much water would be required. So I put two on one on either side to even out the load. Whoops. Here the burner skip then. Just turn up the gas a just turn up the gas a bit. As the tank cools, less gas is coming out. This is how they should look. Oops, got me over the funnel. It's charging nicely on top of the tank. When the pumps aren't pumping the water, they're pumping to bypass. Both sides pumping. Still lots of pressure. Oh. 
perfect. Let's put some water in this boiler. It's about half full. Here's my setup. Running on the rolling road. It's a lot easier to see what's going on rather than running up and down the line with a loco. And it's a lot easier firing it on gas for this sort of thing. Not that coal isn't lovely. I think we haven't got much more water in the tank. This shows there's still water in the tank. When you can see the telltale. was a great test. My work yesterday was successful. Time to turn the gas off. There we go. No more fire. Let's run the pressure out. You get the pressure out of the boiler, you get the heat out of the boiler. are off to get at this clack valve. That's why I'm running it like this, in case it needed some more attention. Here's the reversing valve itself in there. Rotary. Just like on the Mamod. There we go. That's the last of the steam. Excellent. Whoa! Spot of water. Just let all the water out. This is the water out of the boiler, and this is the water out of the tank. Same for the other side. There's a balance tube in the tank so either pump can draw from either side.
Excellent. There we go. Thanks for watching.